God bless America, from the mountains to the cherries. That's right, we're going to look at a Door County cherry today, and we're going to look at Thou Shall Not Steal My Door County Cherries. I don't know if you've ever been to Door County before. Some fairly nice houses there, kind of nice place to live. We might get a little jealous of our neighbor's possessions, and we might try and take their Door County cherry cheese, and that's not right. And the Bible tells us that. So we're going to look at that today. Here it says, thou shall not steal. So, and then Luther challenges us that we should fear and love God so that we do not take our neighbor's money or possessions or get them in any dishonest way, but help him to improve and protect his possessions and income. And so as we're looking at these basic cheeses with Jesus and we're looking at how can I love my neighbor in these times of difficulties, challenges, and the things around us, we encourage our neighbor with their possessions, help them improve their possessions, help them protect our possessions. Just as God has loved us, so we love one another. We help one another out. We care for one another. We don't take our neighbor's things, but rather we encourage and we support one another. That's what God asks of us. That's what God's looking for us. Today, we, we see that we live in a nation, those of us that are here in the United States of America, where we have freedoms, right? We have the freedom of religion, the freedom to assemble. We have the freedom of speech. We have the ability for us as citizens in this great red, white, and blue nation uh, under God to, to live out our lives as God has given us the ability and has intended. There's other places where they steal those rights. They steal those abilities for them. And so that's why we're thankful for having military men and women who have given of their lives uh, so that our freedoms weren't stolen from us, right? They took an opportunity of their life to help the neighbor improve and protect their possessions, right? They went overseas or they served in the military in such a way that we could continue about our daily lives and thank God for that which God has given us, right? We had the freedom to live out each and every day because there was somebody out there who was helping us improve and protect our possessions and income. And so we see that God has given us authorities, which we saw in, in chapter four in government. And, and for those of you that live in Minnesota, and I know this is 2020, so maybe you're watching this a couple years later, like what's he talking about, right? But in 2020 in Minnesota, this very week, the governor and the president of the United States both spoke and allowed for churches to go back to worship. They realized after they were told by religious leaders that the authority that they had was given to them from God, that they were to allow for American citizens to have their freedoms to assemble and to worship. We have been given those freedoms back. Now that the health, health system has reached its level to be able to handle things, now that we've kept away from passing the sickness on for quite a while and loved our neighbor in that way, now we have an opportunity to return to God. Our freedom has been kept and secured. They're helping us improve and protect the things that we have. Now, we as an economy, yes, in America, have to build things back up. It's going to take its time um, to do that. But again, we're encouraging one another and doing it in ways that are right and pleasing to God. Not dishonest ways where we go and steal our neighbor's stuff. Uh, and not in ways where we go and and take things that are rightfully theirs um, to help them improve and protect their possessions is what we're asking. We're not to come and give them a cheap deal knowing that they might be struggling, but rather we're to come up with ways to help them earn money, help them keep the things that God has placed in their life and has given them. Yes, rightfully, we have a transition of goods um, in the United States of America and throughout history um, that God has given us the ability that we can pay, make purchases and we can and change money with one another. But we want to do it so in a way that we're doing it with love and respect for those that we're helping and caring for them. We're not doing it in a way that's going to hinder or hurt somebody else, um, but rather we're supporting one another, encouraging one another. That's how we go about loving our neighbor. And why do we do all that? Well, again, because God first loved us, then we can love one another. Because Christ laid down his life for us, we're able, just as the military men and women who have laid down their lives, we're able to model after what Christ has done for us, and we're able to live in such a way that we care for those people that God has placed in our lives around us.